guys, welcome back to my channel, Shep and Vita. I'll be doing my ALA book call. So it's been about a week since I came back from ALA and I got so many books. My books actually just arrived yesterday and I'll put a picture here because you don't understand the massive size of the boxes that I use and I had three of them. So today I'm just going to go through them very quickly just for the sake of time because I don't think I can really go too detailed in the summaries because one, timing. I only have an hour left on this memory card so I really want to have it done within an hour. Two, I don't really know too much about the books themselves like a lot of them because the way how ALA works is that you go there and you kind of just tell them what kind of books you're interested in terms of genres and then they'll come back with a stack of books for you to read. So because of that some of these books I don't really know too much about. They'll give you blurbs sometimes but after getting all these books they kind of get lost in my head so I don't really know too much at this point but I will try and give you guys a summary like a very quick blurb as much as I can but also not too much because for the sake of time so anyways I have about eight piles here and then that's not including the one massive box left over that I haven't taken out yet because it doesn't fit on my bed um so let's just get right into it so the first book that I got is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron um, I hope I pronounced her last name correctly. This one comes out on July 7th, 2020. Also, before I really get into it, just letting you guys know that this is not in any particular order. I literally just took them out of the boxes and just put my bed and we're just going to go through it one by one. And all I know for this book is that it is a retelling of Cinderella and that's all I really want to know. I love retellings, so as soon as the lady said this, I was like, I am sold for this book. The next one is Unravel the Dusk by Elizabeth Lim. This one comes out on July 2020. This one I'm actually really excited for because I love the first book. It's basically about a girl who has to dress up as a boy to become a master tailor for the emperor. And so she goes there, gets all these tasks and competes with other other master tailors to basically receive the title of Emperor's Tailor. And so she goes there to compete against them and somehow she also discovers this magical scissor. And so this whole thing just ensues and it's just so fast and like so much magical stuff happens. There's all romance and so I am so excited to get a hands of this copy because the way how the first book ended I was like I need to know more. I was honestly so shocked that this book was there and I'm so glad to get a copy of this one. Okay then the next one that I got is The Jewel Thief by Jenny Mobley and this one comes out on May 2020. So this is one where I actually don't know too much about but it says over here a stolen diamond, a dramatic confession, a once in a lifetime love. So it looks like it has some sort of like historical element to it, maybe some fantasy to it but either way I am really excited for this one. Then the next book I got is By the Book by Amanda Salet. This one is out on May 2020. This one I actually don't know too much about but the thing is the lady who was telling me about this book said it was like super cute and it was like one of her favorite books of all time so I was like I am sold for that and it's basically a contemporary romance and that's really all I know. The next one I got is The Kinder Poison by Natalie May. This one's out on June 2020. So this is one where I literally went up to the lady and I told them that I like fantasy and she literally handed me this book as well as many others and all I know is that it's supposed to be a race to the crown, a girl destined to die, and a weapon more powerful than any blade. So honestly I like the cover. I like the scorpion here and fantasy. I love my fantasies so I am sold for this one. Then the next book I got is The Fascinators by Andrew Iliopoulos. Uh, this one's out on May 2020. So this one all I know is that's in the do of magic. There's a magic club in a school and basically like a tight-knit friendship group. Um, I've heard some really good things about this book so I am pretty excited for it. The next book that I got is We Are Not Free by Tracy Chi. This one's out on June 2020. This one is basically a historical fiction about Japanese Americans set during World War II and how their lives changed after the US mass incarceration. Um, I also believe that this book is really unique because it's supposed to follow 14 characters which honestly is a little bit daunting for me but the lady who I talked to said that despite the fact that there's 14 POVs, somehow it is so easy to become fully invested with all of them. So I'm definitely intrigued by that. So the next book that I got is one that I'm so excited for and I didn't realize that this book was going to be there and that is Sisters of Sword and Song by Rebecca Ross. I actually don't know too much about this book but the thing is I loved her previous book so now she's kind of a must read, must buy author for me. So as soon as I found out that she was writing a new YA fantasy, I was like, I am here for this. Oh, and this one's out on June 2020 and this is also a standalone fantasy. 
gonna see. The next one I got is Ghost Wood Song by Erica Waters. This one's out on July 2020. So this one has some like paranormal elements to it as well as some fantasy elements to it. The main character I believe says she can actually call upon the dead with her fiddle which I think is a really unique magical ability and so I really haven't read that many ghost books recently and plus this cover is gorgeous. The next book that I got is A Song of Wraith and Ruin by Rosianne A. Brown. This one's out on June 2020. All I know is that this is a YA fantasy inspired by West African folklore. And honestly, I feel like we need a lot more of these. I love my folklores from different cultures. So when I saw this and I saw the cover, I was already like, yes, please. Then the next book that I got is one that I actually included on my most anticipated videos, which I will include somewhere above. And that is The Kingdom of Bath by Mary Lou. This one's basically about Mozart's sister and follows her POV. And her only wish really is to become known but during that time period, that's really impossible as a female. And somehow she meets a stranger who is willing to grant her wish, but at the same time, it might cost her everything. So this is one that I'm really excited for. And honestly, this cover is also stunning and cannot wait. This one's out on March 2020. The next book I got is My Summer of Love and Misfortune by Lindsay Wong. This one's out on May 2020. The reason why I got this one is because this is actually an own voices novel for me. So I feel like as an own voices reader, I should probably pick this up and check it out for myself. And all I know is that this is a contemporary romance, I want to say. Like definitely contemporary, most likely a romance in there as well because we all know that YA always love their romances. So the next book that I got is Greythorn by Crystal Smith. This is actually the sequel to Bloodleaf, which I just finished recently and actually really enjoyed. And this one's out on June 2020. I'm most excited for this one because the way how the last book ended, there's just so much questions left unanswered. And I'm really excited to find out if this book will reveal some of those answers for me. The next one I got is Forge and Fire and Stars by Andrea Robertson. This one's out on May 2020 and this is another one where I literally went up to them, told them I like fantasy and I received this one. So I don't really know too much in terms of what this book is about but I do know that it's my fantasy and I love my YA fantasies so really excited for this one. The next one that I got is The Unwilling by Kelly Braffitt. I think I hope I pronounced her last name correctly and this one's out on February 11th 2020 so it comes out next week I want to say and all I know is that this is an adult fantasy novel and it says over here it's an epic tale of greed and ambition cruelty and love this deeply immersive novel is about bowing to traditions and burning them down and honestly the first thing that caught my attention was actually the cover there's something about this cover about this lock and the key that I am just here for it so the next book I got is actually recommended to me by someone I forget who it was but someone was like you have to read it and that is Girl Serpent Throne by Melissa Bash Bashardust Gosh, I definitely brushed her name. Um, this one's out on May 2020. And first of all, can I just say that this cover is so pretty? <laughs> I just like can't. And also, the infamous snake has made its reappearance because there is a pink snake here. All I know about this one is that it is a YA fantasy. It has something to do with demons, a princess, etc. I don't know, but it just sounds fascinating for me. Then I got one that I really didn't expect because I really like her other series, and that is The Betrothed by Kiara Cass. This one is out on May 2020. I don't really know what this book is about, to be honest, but I love the selection series. So when I saw that she was having another book coming out, I was like, I am here for this. So honestly, when we all saw that this book was there, we were like, we must get it. So I'm really excited and grateful to get a copy of this one. The next book that I got is actually another one on my most anticipated, and that is Diamond City by Francesca Flores. This one is out on January 2020. So it actually just came out. I think this came out actually like last week but this is also one of my most anticipated it talks about an assassin and somehow she gets involved with some sort of conspiracy and i don't know but there's just like so much about this book that sounds fascinating for me and definitely cannot wait to read this okay the next one that i got is the happy ever after playlist by abby jimenez this one's out on april 2020 honestly all i can say for this one is that it is a contemporary romance and i really picked it up because i love my illustrated contemporary romances these days and this cover is one of those illustrated ones so i was like this sounds like it'll be good so i picked it up guys okay this next one i got i didn't expect it to be there either and that is chosen ones by veronica roth this one's out on april 7th 2020 so this book just sounds so fascinating because it's supposed to be about how there are these like five teenagers i want to say who somehow have this prophecy to defeat the evil one like the dark one and this book takes place after they defeated the evil one and so what are you supposed to do when your prophecy, like your destiny has been fulfilled? And so it kind of talks about the aftermath of that, which I find so fascinating. So 
I am so excited for this one. The next one that I got is First Cut by Judy Melanek and TJ Mitchell. This one's out on January 7th, 2020, so this one's out already. All I know is that this is a medical thriller, which honestly isn't usually my type of book. I don't usually pick up medical thrillers, but I really wanted to just expand my horizons with genres and reading and stuff. So this book is about a medical examiner and how when a new case is presented to her, she realizes that there might be something sinister behind it. Then the next book I got is Seven Endless Forests by April Guinevere Tuchoke. I hope I pronounced her last name correctly. And this one is out on March 2020. This is supposed to be a standalone companion novel to her previous book, which is The Boneless Mercies. And this one has something to do with King Arthur Legend, which I also really like as well. Then this next book I got is Hunted by the Sky by Tanaz Bethina. I'm hoping I pronounced her last name correctly. This one's out on June 2020. So this book just seems really interesting to me. It's supposed to be a YA fantasy set in medieval India. It follows a girl called Gul who somehow has like a star-shaped birthmark and that birthmark is the reason why her parents was murdered all her those years ago. And people with these birthmarks have also been disappearing recently. So this whole like I want to say conspiracy thing going on and find out like why they're disappearing, like why her parents were murdered for this birthmark, etc. That I don't know but it sounds fascinating to me and I also love the cover plus it's like Asian inspired too so I'm really excited. Then this next one is one that I'm really excited to get because I actually have this signed as well and that is Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis and this one is out on June 2020. First of all can I say how stunning this cover is? So well my camera just died. Well anyways this book is basically Moulin Rouge meets Phantom of the Opera which I absolutely loved so when I saw that I was like I am here for this and cannot wait. Then this next book is A Sky Painted Gold by Laura Wood. This one's out on June 2020 and it says back here a gorgeously dreamy coming of age romance set against a stunning Gatsby-esque backdrop. So it sounds really good and the cover is also stunning so definitely cannot wait. The next one I got is The Circus Rose by Betsy Cornwell. This one's out on June 2020. All I know is that this is supposed to be a queer retelling of Snow White and Rose Red. Okay the next book that I got is one I'm so excited for. Actually the next two books are both ones on my most anticipated releases. The first one is Red Hood by Elena Arnold. This is one that is a retelling of Red Riding Hood and guys like when I saw this book there I was like this is probably like my most anticipated releases to be honest so I am so happy to get a copy of this one and it comes out sometime in February 2020. The next one that I also didn't expect it to be there is The Winter Duke by Claire Eliza Bartlett. This is also my most anticipated releases and it's supposed to be part Sleeping Beauty part Anastasia with a thrilling political mystery so I'm here for this. Okay, the next one that I got is Harley in the Sky by Akemi Don Bowman. This one is out on March 2020. I actually don't really know what this book is about, but a lot of people were recommending it to me when I was there at ALA, so I figured I'd just pick up a copy and see for myself. And it says back here it's supposed to be like a trapeze artist, so that sounds fascinating. I really haven't read that many books about that, but I guess I'll find out. The next one I got is The Stars We Steal by Alexa Dunn. This one is out on February 2020. This is another one where I initially was like okay with it like I wasn't like oh my god I want it but two people I know who have read this have loved it like they have been raving about it so I was like okay like I'm like definitely gonna bump this up my TBR now so when I saw this there I was like oh my god I'm really excited for it and it's supposed to be like sci-fi fantasy but the sci-fi element is more like it's just set in space at least that's what I've heard um and more like on fantasy side by the way though I'm excited now. The next book that I got is one that is like completely different. So like the first day I was there, I tried to get more like fantasy books. And the second day that I was there, I tried to get more like contemporary, historical fiction, a few thrillers, mysteries, if I was able to find any, because I feel like they weren't that many. Uh, but mostly like contemporary romances, historical fiction, oh, and some sci-fi novels. So the next one that I got is a historical fiction, and that is The Woman Before Wallace by Bryn Turnbull. And this one's out on July 21st, 2020. And it's supposed to be about the Windsors, Vanderbilt, and royal scandal so honestly i just was like oh scandal i am intrigued so i picked up this book the next book i got is sister dear by hannah mary mckinnon this one's out on may 26 2020 and this is a thriller novel and honestly like my mystery thrillers i try to go in it pretty blind so i do not want to know what this book is about but this cover seems really intriguing and definitely like a mystery thriller vibe so 
I was here for this. So the next one I got is Race the Sands by Sarah Beth Durst. This one's out on April 2020. This one is so interesting to me. I'm actually gonna just read the first paragraph because I feel like this gives you like a really unique sense of what this book is about. So it says over here, life, death, and rebirth, and the car everyone knows who you are in this life will determine what you are in your next life. The augurs can read your fate and your aura, hawk, heron, tortoise, jackal, or human. And armed with that knowledge, you can change your destiny of the choices you make both in this life and in the next. But for the darkest individuals, there's no redemption. You come back as a key hawk, a monster, and you will always be a monster for the rest of time. Unless you can win the races. So I don't know, this book just sounds like so like out there as a fantasy novel. And I was just like, I love this concept. So I picked it up for myself. Next book that I got is even if we break by Marik Nisha Nish Camp. I definitely butcher her name. I butcher her name all the time. I am so sorry. This one comes out sometime in September 2020. And basically it says five friends go to a cabin, four are hiding a secret, three years of history bind them, two are doomed from the start. One person wants to end this. No one is safe. So it's kind of a like earlier mystery book as well, which is so interesting because I feel like the first two books she's written are more like survival-ish, kind of like aftermath kind of books. Uh, this is totally different from what I've read from her before, so I'm excited for it. Then I got a really cute graphic novel, and that is Fence Volume 1. This one's out already, so I was just really happy to get a copy of this because I have heard so many good things about this series, and I've heard the graphics are stunning, which I actually really agree. They look really pretty. Then this next book I got is What's Left of Me is Yours by Stephanie Scott. This one's out on April 2020. So this one is supposed to be set in modern day Tokyo and it's inspired by a real life event. It follows a young woman who is searching for the truth of her mother's murder. So I don't know but this cover is stunning and this book definitely seems like a more of a cultural read and I really enjoy those. The next book that I got is Before She Was Helen by Caroline B. Cooney. So this one just like the blurb for this one really caught my attention because it says her life didn't turn out the way she expected so she made herself a new one. Like I feel like sometimes we can all relate with the fact that there are times when we're like why do we have this life and the fact that we can just make ourselves a new one just sounds like so fascinating for me. Um, this one comes out on May 2020 and I cannot wait to read this. The next book that I got is The Henna Artist by Alka Joshi. This one is out on March 10th, 2020. This one just really stood out to me because of the cover, to be honest. Like, I just love how rich this cover looks. So this is a historical fiction it's set in 1950s in India. I feel like I haven't really read that many Indian-inspired books, specifically any books set in the history element of India. So I saw this book, saw the cover, saw the blurb, and I was like, I am really intrigued by it. So the next book that I got is A Declaration of the Rights of Magicians by H.G. Perry. This one is out on July 7th, 2020. This is one where I literally asked them I was like I am curious for fantasy like do you have anything and the guy actually told me that this book was the only fantasy they have it's supposed to be about magicians I mean the title of this book seems pretty obvious to me and he also said that it's supposed to be very lyrical along the same veins of 10,000 Doors of January which I absolutely loved as well as The Starless Sea which I haven't read yet but I love 10,000 Doors of January so when he said that I was like I'm here for this. So the next book I got is Sword in the Stars by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. This one is out on April 7th 2020 and this is the sequel to Once and Future and this whole series is basically inspired by Arthurian legend which I love. Okay so I think the next few books I got were ones that so the last day on Monday, what happens is that they will end up giving away all their display copies. So you go there, you wait in line. This is the only time when there's actually is a line. Usually there isn't a line at ALA. And so you go there, you wait in line, and when you get there, they can tell you how many books you can pick up. So I think all the places I went to allowed you to pick up five books. I didn't actually pick up five books because I couldn't find five books that I was like really interested in. So most of them I picked like three or four, and then some of them I actually didn't pick up many at all, like maybe just one or two. Uh, I picked up other ones for other people. So the first one that I got from one of those display copies is The Weight of Your Sky by Hannah Alcaf. So this one I picked up because I've seen this cover. Oh man, I just cracked. Did you guys hear that? Okay. So this one I picked up because I've seen this cover around a bit and it's also Asian inspired. It's about a girl. I think she's from Malaysia. And so I just really want to pick up more books with Asian diversity. So this one's definitely one of them. So I figured I'd just pick it up for myself and find out if I like it or not. The next one was a struggle to be pick up to be honest. I was like eyeing it 
the entire time katie and i were just like we we're in it to win it um but we finally managed to get a copy of this was like the last two books and we both got a copy and that is chain of gold by cassandra claire this is the first book in the new series which i'm like super excited for this is also in my most anticipated releases so the fact that i got a copy there i was like dying a little bit inside but this is basically a new series in the shadow hunter series um shadow hunter world so if you know about the shadow hunters world there's really not much else to say about it but like i'm just i'm so here for this guys the next one that i picked up is once upon a sunset by tiff marcello and this one's out on march 3rd 2020 this is another one where i was like "Ooh, illustrated contemporary romances must be good so um i just picked up and hopefully it is good then this next book that i got is four days of you and me by miranda Ken kennelly I hope I pronounced your last name correctly. This one is out on May 2020. This is one that's actually recommended to me. I forget who exactly recommended it, but they were like, this is really, really good. So I was like, let me just pick it up and give it a shot. But this is a contemporary romance for those who can't tell from the cover. Um, and I love my contemporary romances. Okay, then the next book that I got is My Eyes Are Up Here by Laura Zimmerman. Uh, this one's out on June 2020. This one just caught my attention because of the title, but My Eyes Are Up Here sounds like something that i can totally relate to as a female then this next one i got is the lucky ones by liz lawson this one is out on april 2020 so this book is about two teenagers who are somehow both involved with a shooting and kind of like how their lives have changed after that uh but then they meet each other so this book then it sounds like one of those like hard hitting books but i sometimes they're like a hit or miss for me so i'm really hoping this is a hit instead of a miss so Anyways, I picked this up just to check it out. Then this next book I got is A Good Girl Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. This one is out on February 2020. And this one, I've actually just seen this cover around a bit. And this is supposed to be unputdownable thriller as addictive and twisty as serial and making a murderer. I feel like I haven't read that many YA thriller mysteries recently. The only one I can really think of at the top of my head right now is The Boarding School one by Maureen Johnson. So this one seems like it's another one and I really enjoyed that one. So I was like... I really want to pick up more YA thrillers and mysteries, so I picked up this one. Okay, then this next one is another thriller, which I am actually really excited for, and that is The Better Liar by Tannen Jones. So this book, okay, so this book is out in January 2020, so it's already out, but this one's just so interesting to me because it's about a woman who basically hides her sister's death so she can claim both of their inheritance and kind of like the aftermath of that it's like a twisty thriller novel and i'm just here for this guys it sounds so good another one that i was able to pick up from the display copy which i'm actually really excited for is that now that i got this book i kind of need to do something about the other ones i have because they're not matching anymore like the other two i have are paperback and this is a hardcover so i'm like i really want a copy of this anyways and that is the toll by neil schusterman i haven't read the series yet but i just feel like i will love it so much i haven't heard any bad things about the series at all like people who don't even really care much for dystopian like sci-fi novels love this book love the series so much that i am like i just can't imagine not loving it and i actually own book, all of them like they're literally like, right there but um i haven't picked up yet so i was just actually waiting for the third book to come out in paperback but then i saw this copy and there were actually many of them just waiting to be picked up so i was like well let me just grab this and i'll check it out for myself then the next book that i picked up is hungry hearts by Elise Chapman and Caroline Tung Richmond. So this one is just really interesting because it was supposed to be was it 13 tales of food and love but they're all interconnected somehow. I don't really usually like my anthologies but because these are interconnected so I'm assuming the stories all connect with each other so that just seems much more appealing for me as opposed to a regular anthology. And this is obviously about like contemporary romances, love, food, I mean like sign me up for this. Then this next one is Chosen by Kirsten White. This is the sequel to Slayer. I love watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer when I was younger so I am just like really excited for the series overall and definitely cannot wait to pick this up soon. And this one came out already in January 2020. Then this next book I got is Harold the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. This one is out on June 2020. I'm actually really excited for it even though I've heard some like mixed reviews but I think this might be one of my like top 20 books to read in 2020. I haven't made that video yet, but I will one day. So I think this series will be on there. Then this next book I picked up is Joe and Lori by Margaret Stoll and Melissa De La Cruz. This one is out on June 2020. This is basically a like a retelling of Little Woman or kind of like specifically Joe and Lori. So 
I actually just watched Little Woman in theaters the other day and I liked it but I didn't love it but it made me like more interested in Little Woman and rereading the book again so this one would kind of like help with that so I'm really excited for this one. Then this next one is Jack Car Carol Kurak? Okay, I definitely butchered that name is Dead to Me by Gay oof, Polysner and this one is out on April 2020. This is another contemporary romance and I feel like I haven't really read that many recently so I figured why not pick it up plus this was just sitting there. This was like one of the last few books they had available when they were doing a display giveaway so I figured no one was really interested in it so I was like well I mean let me pick it up and see for myself. Then this next book I got is The Traitor by V.S. Alexander. This one is out on March 2020. So this is supposed to be based on the true story of the White Rose which is the resistant movement of young Germans against the Nazi regime. Um, I love my historical fiction. I love it when I learn something about some like an occurrence that happened a long time ago which I didn't even wasn't even aware of and so this one just seems like it'd be really good for me and just completely up my alley. And this next one I got is Break the Fall by Jennifer Iocopelli. I definitely butchered that name I'm so sorry. This one is out sometime in February 2020. So this one just seems like one of those really intense survival books in a sense that a year ago she actually had some sort of like spine injury and she was recovering etc and now a year later she somehow made it to the united states gymnastics team so she's going to the olympics like how crazy is that like just one year she somehow recovered from a spine injury and i definitely am excited for this one then this next book that i got is influence by sarah shepherd and lilia buckingham this one is out on june 2020 so this one is supposed to be like super unique because it's a ya thriller mystery but it's all centered around influencers which we all know as influencers in social media is very big these days so this book just sounds really fascinating to me and really stood out to me so we have now moved on to the second half of this um i finally unpacked the largest box i had and the first book that i got from that one is the honey don't list by christina lauren this one is out on march 24th um this is just one on my anticipated releases because i really liked her books in the past or their books in the past and i saw that they had a new one and i was like i must pick it up so basically at this point they are a must read author the next one i got is the trouble with hating you by Sejni Patel. Um, this one is out on May 12th, 2020. And the thing is, like, this one is just so interesting because I believe they actually first meet at some sort of like arranged marriage dinner dating thing, and she didn't realize that her parents had set it up, so she leaves, and then they bump into each other, and of course, like, things ensues after that, and it just sounds like a really good time. The next one that I got is Love Sewed Separately by Ellen Meister. This one is out on August 25th. So this one just sounds like a contemporary romance with some sort of like mystery element to it because it follows a girl who actually is like is in the city trying to become an actress etc and one day she somehow gets caught in some sort of murder um like this guy that she was kind of fooling around with was somehow the main suspect of a crime that he didn't commit because at that time they were together and so i guess somehow she becomes involved and i'm just like kind of excited and intrigued by this contemporary romance slash somewhat of a mystery thriller novel as well then this next one is all the things we never knew by liara Tum Tamani. Um, this one is out on June 2020. And this is interesting because it's supposed to be a contemporary romance with basketball as the main theme. Um, I don't really read that many contemporary romances with sports involved, so this one sounded interesting and appealing, so I figured I'd just pick it up. Then this next one is Now and When by Sarah Bennett Wheeler. Um, this one is out on July 2020. So this is another one where literally I went up to them, I was like, I want contemporary romances, what do you have? And they basically gave me a stack. And this is one of them. So other than that, I don't really know, but but the lady was like this is really good so i figured i'd just pick it up plus i really like this whole purple orange theme as well so really excited then this next book i got is meet me at midnight by jessica pennington this one is out on april 2020 this is another one where they literally was just like contemporary romance here you go so um that's really all i know but it says that they have a love hate relationship with summer so i wonder if it's a love hate relationship with summer as well as each other or you know but it does say that's supposed to be for fans of morgan matson which i absolutely adore so i'm really excited for this one then this next book i got is splinters of scarlet by 
Emily Bain Murphy. This one is out on July 2020. And this is supposed to be a YA historical fantasy set in 19th century Denmark where secrets can kill and magic is a deadly gift. I mean, I love my historical fiction. I love my fantasy. So when they blend together, it's a really good match for me. So this sounds perfect for me. Then the next book I got is City of Stone and Silence by Django Wexler. This one comes out on January oh this one came out already on January 2020 and this is the sequel to Ship of Smoke and Steel and this is basically just an epic fantasy trilogy which I love and sounds so good a lot of adventure some ghostly atmosphere stuff as well and I'm just really excited for this one and this next one I got is What I Like About You by Marissa Cantor this one is out on April 2020 and this is another one where I don't really know too much about but it's a contemporary romance and it's also another illustrated cover so but it says over here to all the boys I love before meet you got mail in this why rom comma asks can a love triangle have only two people in it that seems like an interesting question because a triangle is three points so i'm curious for sure then this next book that i got is the best laid plans by cameron lunn this one is out on april 2020 and this cover is so cute and i definitely cannot wait to read this and the reason why i'm so excited is because it's really like a friends to lovers kind of thing and it sounds like super cute so i'm here for this then this next book i got is hood by jenny elder Mook, and this one is out on June 2020 and this is so interesting because this is supposed to be about a girl who is the daughter of Robin Hood. That sounds so fascinating and I definitely can't wait to read this. Then this next book I got is Before the Sword by Grace Lynn and this one is out on sometime in February 2020. Um, This one I got because it's literally supposed to be like a retelling of Mulan and I am a fan so here I am getting a copy of this one. Then this next one I got is Bewitch by Paige McKenzie and Nancy Olin. This one is out on July 2020. So all I know is that this one's going to do with witches obviously and it's a little bit of magic. Then this next book that I got is one that I've actually been eyeing for a while as well and that's Rebel Wing by Andrea Tang. This one is out on February 2020. So this is a sci-fi which is one of the few sci-fis that I received during this time um, but this was supposed to have a cybernetic dragon and it's a debuted novel which I'm really excited for. Then this next book I got is The Grace Kelly Dress by Brenda Janowitz and this one is out on March 3rd 2020. Um, this is basically just one dress, three generations of women and a lifetime of love and it's one of those like charming heartfelt novels and I really do enjoy those sometimes because it just makes my heart warm and cozy so I'm really excited for this plus this cover is stunning like I really really like this cover. Then this next book I got is The Return by Rachel Harrison. This one is out on March 24th 2020 and this one is a mystery thriller and that's really all I want to know um, but it says over here her friend disappeared a stranger came back and that sounds eerie and I am really excited. Then this next book I got is The Falling in Love Montage by Sierra Smith. This one is out on June 2020 and this is supposed to be just a really cute YA rom-com novel and supposed to be fans of Jenny Haunt and Becky Apatali. So I am here for this. This cover is gorgeous and it's super cute and I definitely cannot wait to read this. This next book I got is If These Wings Could Fly by Carrie McCauley and this one is out on March 2020. So this is not one I would usually pick up but the publisher was really recommending this to me so I figured I'd just give it a shot. But it says over here it's going to be a stunning debut. Um, it's a powerful story about the haunting specter of domestic violence and the rebellious forces of sisterhood and first love. I don't usually like books that are too hard-hitting I think especially if they don't have any other elements to it and this book seems to be a lot about like sisterhood and domestic violence which I'm like not the most into but at the same time it does kind of intrigue me because i do have sisters as well so it's kind of relatable but i'm definitely curious especially because the way how this publisher recommended this book to me i was like okay like i, I kind of want to give it a try now so i'm really excited for this one too the next one i got sounds so good and that is take me with you by tara Brando. Um, this one is out on June 23rd, 2020. And this one is a YA psychological thriller about these group of people who somehow get some sort of message telling them to meet up somewhere in the school. And from there, there's some sort of cube sitting on a desk and it says, do not tell anyone about the device. Never leave the device unattended. And then take me with you or else. And so they begin to play this some sort of game and then they realize that it might be something more than just a simple game. And it just sounds so creepy and sounds freaking good so I'm really excited. Then this next book that I got is The Wolf of Cape Fen by Juliana Brand. Uh, this one comes out on April 2020 and it's basically about the sort of magical bargain with a wolf 
uh, before the wolf steals her sister away and it just sounds really good and I haven't read that many middle grade books in a while so this one sounds really good to me. This next book that I got is Date Me Bryson Keller by Kevin Van Wy. Uh, this one comes out on May 2020. This is definitely one where I asked for a contemporary romance and they hadn't spoke to me and said read this one it is really good so I'm excited, it looks really cute. The next one I got is This Is My Brain In Love by I.W. Gregorio. Um, this one comes out on April 2020. This is another one, actually it comes in the same stack as that one where I literally was just like contemporary romances. And I think she handed like three books because this is the other one I think. Yeah, so this is the other one. And so these two plus the other one were all books that I received from the same publisher telling me that it's contemporary romances. They're really good, check them out. So I decided to pick them all up. Um, this one over here is More Than Just A Pretty Face by Saeed M. Masood. Um, this one comes out on August 2020. Then this next one that I got is Veronica Comics by Jennifer Dugan. This one comes out on April 2020. This is one where I feel like I heard a lot of people talking about it and I don't really know too much in terms of what this book is about but because so many people were talking about it it really piqued my interest so I figured I'd just pick it up and see for myself. But it seems something to do with like a comic convention prom and how there's two people they can't help falling in love for each other but I guess like their parents don't like each other so there's something sort of like Romeo and Juliet aspect to this, so I am here for this. Then this next book I got is They Wish They Were Us by Jessica Goodman. This one comes out on July 2020. This one over here is supposed to be Gossip Girl Meets One of Us is Lying with a Dash of a Secret History in this Slick Taught Murder Mystery. So this is another YA mystery and I am so excited. I just feel like I haven't read that many and this will fulfill that need. The next one I got is Look by Zan Romanoff. This one comes out on March 2020. So I feel like this is one of those like social media type of books where something happens, she has a 10,000 flash followers and the things that she posts on there might not actually correctly or accurately depict her real life. And it's like a coming of age type of novel. So it'd be like about feminism, glamorous, complex, compelling, etc. And it's also supposed to be a queer coming of age falling in love type of book so I'm excited for it it sounds really good. Then this next one I got is Elysium Girls by Kate Pentecost. This one comes out on April 2020. So this one sounds really good. It's a young adult fantasy. It has witches, gods, and demons and honestly like when it has all of those characters and elements to it I am just so intrigued by it. This next book that I got is one that I was like I don't even know but um apparently we're all buddy reading this and this is Faithless by Brian Azzarello and Maria Lovett. Um this one comes out I don't know I think this came out already I'm not really sure but this is supposed to be like erotic comic and I'm like I don't know I've never read a book like this before so I really don't know what to expect but we all got a copy and every single page I have flipped to so far has been very explicit and I'm just like so anyway, I'm kind of intrigued and I don't even know what this book is about, but then this next book that I got is Witches of Ash and Ruin by E. Latimer. This one comes out on March 2020. So this one is supposed to be a blend of modern witchcraft with Celtic mythology. I love my mythology and I love like witchy stuff as well, so this blend sounds so good to me and I definitely can't wait to read this. Then this next one I got is The Book of Lost Friends by Lisa Wingate. This one comes out on April 7, 2020 and I got this one because I really enjoyed her previous book Before We Were Yours. It was like one of my favorite books. I think it's like 2019 or 2018 but it was so good and when I saw that she had another book coming out I was like I had to pick this up. I don't even know what this book's about but I really liked her writing and her previous book that I didn't really care too much in terms of what this book about because I loved her previous one so I picked this up anyways. Then this next book I got is The Girl from Widow Hills by Megan Miranda. This one comes out on June 23rd and honestly I just got this one because it's by Megan Miranda and I really liked her previous books so I wanted a mystery thriller and this is one of them. Then this next one that I got is The Paris Library by Janet Skes Skeslin Charles, I definitely put her name. I am so sorry. This one comes out on June 2nd and this is definitely one of the few historical fiction. I feel like I really didn't get that many this time around. I think I was mostly focusing on contemporary romances and fantasy so I saw a few historical fiction and this is one of them and it sounds really good. I think it has like dual perspective. One is in Paris in 1939 and the other one is in Montana in 1983. So I'm assuming there's something like they will connect to each other somehow and it says here sometimes heroes are found in the quietest places and it's based on the true world war ii story of the heroic librarians of the american library in paris then i got darling rose gold by stephanie robel and this one comes out on march 17 2020 this one i actually don't know too much about but i've seen this so much that i already was like i'm just so interested because the cover is also really pretty but it's supposed to discuss the layers of the most complicated of mother-daughter relationships then this 
next book that I got is The Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver. This one comes out on March 3rd. So this one just sounds like a really cute contemporary romance but I think this one might have a little bit of a heavier topic because this one talk about some sort of death. It's about like grief and everything and I thought this would be like more of a contemporary cutesy romance but I think that's not the case. So I don't really know what to expect anymore but I thought it'd be a really cute book but I think it might be more of a serious topic than what I had anticipated so I don't know we'll see. Then this next book that I got is The Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Mandel. This one comes out on March 2020. So this one just sounds really interesting because it's supposed to take like two separate events and connect together. It's supposed to talk about this massive Ponzi scheme collapse and the mysterious disappearance of a woman from the deck of a ship at sea. Then this next book that I got is If I Never Met You by Mahiri McFarlane. Uh, this one comes out on March 2020. And this is another contemporary romance of an illustrated cover and I'm just already excited for this one. And this one follows the fake dating trope, which I am like, yes, it's one of my favorite tropes of all time. So I'm really excited and definitely can't wait to read this. Then this next book that I got is Girl From Nowhere by Tiffany Ro Rosenhan. Um, this one comes out on July 21st, 2020. And this one, it says, Red Sparrow meets one of us lying in an action-packed romance-filled YA debut about a girl trying to outrun her past. And it just sounds so crazy. Like the first few sentences already boggles me. It says, 94 countries, 31 schools, two bullets. Now it's over. Or so she thinks. So like there's definitely some sort of like action adventure going on. I mean like, can you imagine like 31 schools? And then two bullets as well, like that's just crazy. So this sounds so good and I'm just really excited for it. Then this next book that I got is Seven Deadly Shadows by Courtney Alameda and Val Valine, uh, I hope I pronounced her name right, E. Mitani. This one comes out on January 2020, so this one came out already. So this one is supposed to be a contemporary retelling of Seven Samurai, which I've never heard about before, but it has demon gods in it, which sounds so fascinating and cannot wait. Then the next book that I got is Keep My Heart in San Francisco by Amelia Diane Combs. This one comes out on June 2020 and first of all this cover is so cute. I mean look how cute this cover looks and it's basically a contemporary romance and this book has something to do with like bowling alleys because her family runs a bowling alley and then somehow she gets involved with bear areas like action bowling which I didn't even know the thing but it just sounds super cute and I definitely cannot wait to pick this up soon. But this next book that I got is East Coast Girls by Carrie Clutter. This one comes out on May 26th and this book basically follows four women who have been childhood friends their entire life and then something happens after graduation like one terrible night changed everything and 12 years have passed since that accident or incident and this is the one thing that they wish had never happened and just when they decide to reunite and see if maybe they can continue on make some more happy memories forget the tragic past tragedy strikes again and it just sounds like it'd be a really emotional kind of book and I don't know sometimes I'm just in the mood for that so this one is perfect for that. The next one that I got is Say Yes Summer by Lindsay Roth Cooley. This one comes out on May 2020 and this one of course is a YA contemporary romance and it just sounds like a really fun summer read. So this book basically just tells a girl who finds a book, a beat up book, that says a season of yes and this crazy idea pops in her head where she says what if she just said yes to everything so this book is just all about that and i'm just like what can happen when you say yes to everything apparently lots of crazy things so i'm really excited for this one next book that i got is a love hate thing by whitney d grandison this one comes out on february 11th so this book follows these two teenagers who one of them survived the mean streets of Lindenwood, and then somehow he gets tossed into the affluent coastal community of Pacific Coast and the other character follows a girl who is a resident golden girl and obviously love ensues despite their differences the different backgrounds etc and it just sounds really cute it says over here trouble just moved in and definitely cannot wait this next book that I got is Ghost of Harvard by Francesca Saratella. This one comes out on May 5th. So this book follows a girl who ends up going to Harvard to kind of find out what happened to her brother the night that he passed away. And there's just something sinister lurking behind, there's some ghostly appearances as well, and a lot of secrets and mysteries to uncover. And this book sounds really good. It's also a little bit daunting because it's kind of a chunky book, but 
it sounds really good and I definitely can't wait to read this. Then the next book that I got is A Lost Orphan by Stacey Halls. This one comes out on April 7th and this is another one of the few historical fictions that I have. It's set in London in 1754 and it's supposed to explore families and secrets, class and power, and how the pull of motherhood cuts across them all. So I'm pretty excited and I really like this cover as well. Then this next book that I got is The Other Misses by Mary Kubica. This one comes out on... wait this is not actually the book. This is the book here. <laughs> So this is the book over here and it comes out on February 18th. I just got this one because I don't think I've actually read into books before but I've heard a lot of praise for this author and I really like mystery thrillers and because of all the praise and recommendations I figured I'd just pick it up for myself and like I said already I don't really like knowing too much going into mystery thrillers so that's all I really know but it's supposed to be a soon-to-be Netflix film which is actually kind of cool so I'm really excited for this one. The next book that I got is A Black Swan of Paris by Karen Robards. This one comes out on June 30th and this is another historical fiction it's set in Paris in 1944. It's supposed to be a world at war, a beautiful young star, and a mission no one expected. Oh, it says over here, for fans of the Nightingale. So I think that's why I should pick it up because I was like, ooh, Nightingale, loved it. So I got this book. Then this next one that I got is You're Next by Kylie Sh... Ate? I definitely butchered that name. I'm so sorry. This one comes out on June 23rd. So this book follows a girl who receives some sort of frantic call from a friend who hasn't like spoken to her apparently for almost a year now. So she arrives just in time to find her friend bleed out in a dark alleyway. And so she decides to do something. And I guess this book just follows what she decides to do. And I don't know, but this is actually like a really chunky book as well. So I'm a little intimidated actually now that I think about it. Anyways, but it sounds like it'll be a good read. The next book that I got is Hardwired by Lynn Valos. This one comes out on April 28th. And it's supposed to be a grounded sci-fi story about a boy who's more than human. So the thing is, like, this boy thinks he's a normal 15-year-old. And then one day he finds out that he's actually a multi-billion dollar university experiment. And the first fully self-aware AI in the world. Can you just imagine that? Like, thought you were a normal person, regular human being, and it turns out you're not. You're actually a machine. This book is all about that, so I'm definitely intrigued. Okay, I think I have like three books left. The next one is Conventionally Yours by Annabeth Albert, and this one comes out on June 2020. So this is a contemporary romance, and if I'm not mistaken, this is a male-male romance, and I'm actually really excited because it follows a popular Conrad Stewart who apparently has it all, but in reality, he's like freaking out. And there's another guy who is pretty guarded, very driven, who is like a poster boy for perfection, but inside he feels a little broken, and I guess there's some sort of rivalry going on, but then, of course, they're stuck together and love ensues and so like super cute. So I'm excited for it. Then this next book that I got is Kissing Lessons by Sophie Jordan. This one comes out on June 2020. And this is another contemporary YA romance and it sounds like a really cute book and I figure why not. Okay, then the last and final book. Oh my god, this took forever, like way longer than I imagined. Um, it's Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. This one comes out on April 2020. I have to admit, the first thing that captured me was this cover. I mean, this cover looks absolutely stunning. And all I know is that if this is a YA fantasy, it follows a girl Carbonata who somehow have lived a hundred stolen lives and now she is living her own. There's magic and I think she's a memory thief. I don't know exactly what that means, but apparently it's the most rarest and most feared of the magical Mariah. So that sounds like super intriguing to me and it sounds really good. Um, but this cover honestly is absolutely stunning. I think it's one of my favorites out of everything so far so I definitely cannot wait to read this. So anyways that is it in terms of my ALA book haul. This was massive like I just did not expect it. I honestly was thinking maybe like 80 books or something but I just counted it and I think it's like over 100 so um, I think I'm set for the next few years I think. Like I will be reading a lot of these books in the near future to try to get the reviews out before their release dates and everything. Um, that's one of my main goals for 2020 just try to be more on top of these reviews because I feel like sometimes life gets a hold and things don't happen as fast as I want them so anyways that is it in terms of my ALA book haul let me know down below which book are you most excited for were any of these are your most anticipated reads I'm honestly so grateful to be able to participate and attend this conference it's also a really good way for me to find more books because sometimes I feel like a lot of these books I don't really, I haven't really heard too much about um, and 
publishers are really eager to share them with you especially if you tell them what you are interested in so i'm really grateful and very thankful to actually attend this conference and receive everything here so anyways let me know down below which book are you most excited for or any of your most anticipated in this pile if they were let me know which one it is did any of these books catch your attention now that i have mentioned them i know i was really fast at giving some of the summaries but this video took way longer than i expected and i just didn't expect this many books to be honest so that being said i'm kind of glad that i didn't go too much into the summaries because that would have taken like three hours and no one's got time for that so anyways that is it in terms of my video here as always if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe down below don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next time bye